Meet Jim Medlin. This veteran served in Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm. He gave 14 years of his life to the United States Army. And now he lives his life confined to a wheelchair and unable to speak because of his illness. He and his wife Jan and his caregiver Dante need answers. She's wading through a bureaucracy that seems to give her nothing but dead ends. Because of red tape, Jan isn't able to get help from the VA even though she's Jim's legal guardian. As a result, we've taken Jim into our home for a whatever you can afford to do basis. The VA did provide Jim with six weeks of therapy, but what he really needs is long-term rehab and assisted daily living care. Give me three words to explain this whole situation, how it makes you feel. Forgotten about? Despite those feelings, the town hall meeting did offer Jan and Dante a glimmer of hope. They're taking steps in the right direction. They are, uh, you can now put a face on the VA. It's not a, a, just a big giant entity that exists in some other world now. Bob McDonald, the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, heard Jim's story. Let's really get some people looking at what can we do. And then if we can't do enough, we need to get a change in the law. The caregivers are the unsung heroes of military life. Before we send our service members into battle, let's figure out the cost of caring for them when they get out of battle because we have a responsibility, a holy responsibility to care for them. As the saying goes, freedom isn't free. It's a price paid by active duty service members, their families, and veterans just like Jim. And caring for them, most would say, seems like the least we could do in return. Because of the financial strain Jim's care has put on the family, a GoFundMe account has been created to help. And we'll have all that information for you on our website, WRBL.com. Reporting live in the studio, Cassandra Webb, WRBL News 3, on your side. Thank you, Cassandra.